Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial for the Engage Portal website. In this video, we will be doing a full walkthrough of how to use the Engage Portal. The Engage Portal is a website that allows you to create groups and collaborate with others. To get started, let's go over how to sign up for the Engage Portal. First, visit the website at engage.box5software.com and click on the Sign Up Now button. Fill out your name, email, and password and click Sign Up. You will see a green welcome screen if you are successful in signing up. Before we continue, we must validate our email address. An email will be sent to you with the title, Your Engage Verification Link. Click the link in the email to verify your email address. We can now close this page and navigate back to the tab where we signed up for the Engage portal. Click the Login Page link to navigate to the login screen. Enter the same credentials you just used to sign up with to log into the portal. In the future, you can simply go to the login link in the menu on the top right of the page to get to the login page. If you forget your password, you can reset it by clicking on the Forgot Your Password link on the login screen and entering the email associated with your account. A special link will be sent to you that will link to a page where you can reset your password. Groups represent your marching organization and are the primary way that users of the Engage mobile app will interact with your drill. Groups allow you to upload drill that users will then be able to view in the app. Groups also have several other features that help you manage the existing drill. To create a new group, click on the Create Group button at the top of the home page. Select a plan on the pricing page and you will be taken to the Purchase page. At this point, if you are already logged in, then you will be taken to the second step, which is the Group Definition step. If you're not already logged in, then you will be asked to log in or create an account first. On the Group step, enter a group name and select the number of members that you want to be able to access your group. Once a user accesses your group from the Engage mobile app, that user is counted against the total number of users that can access your group. When the total number of users is reached, then no one else will be able to access the group. There is a workaround for this that we will talk about a bit later. So, choose a number here that is big enough to include all your members and staff members that will need to access their group on Engage, including yourself, and press the next button. Enter your credit card information and click pay now. You will be taken to the final done step, which will direct you to return to the home page. Click on the return to home button. You will be taken back to the home page and you should see a new group in the list. If you do not see it listed there, then you can refresh the list with the refresh button on the top right. To view your group, click on the desired group in the list. The group page has a lot of information available. Let's go over its components one at a time. On the breadcrumb bar at the top, you can see what group you are currently on and a link to take you back to the home page. Below that, you can see the name and expiry of the current group. You can hover over the expiry date to see the precise end date. When a group expires, your users will no longer have the ability to access the drill from that group and you will no longer have the ability to upload or download drill from this page. Next is the group access code. You will need to share this code with your members so they can access the drill on the Engage app. You can regenerate the group code using the new code button. This effectively allows you to revoke access to the group for anyone who has the current code so that you can start fresh. The next sections are self-explanatory. You can rename the group and delete the group. Moving on, we have collaborators. Collaborators are other Engage Portal users that you can invite to view and modify your group. They have the ability to add and delete drill. You can add collaborators by entering their email here. These invited users will need to create an Engage Portal account if they do not already have one. You can delete collaborators by pressing the edit button and then pressing the X next to their name. Deleting a collaborator revokes their access to view and modify your group. On the right is the list of drill for this group. To upload drill, you first need to export it from Envision. In Envision, open the drill that you want to export. Then, from the file menu, select Export JSON. Save the file somewhere you can find it. Back in the Engage portal, press the Upload button and select a file to upload. 
Once uploaded, this drill is now available for download in the Engage mobile app. You can select the checkbox next to any drill, and from there you can download or delete the drill. Now, let's look at a couple other sections around the portal. At the top of the screen, you have notifications. You will be notified if something changes in a group you own, such as if a collaborator adds a drill. On the left of the home screen, you can access your account settings. Here, you can change your name, email address, and password. You can also delete your account, but for data safety reasons, your data will not be fully deleted for 30 days. If you wish to reactivate your account, you simply need to log in as normal during that 30 day period. Lastly is the billing page. This page allows you to see your current group subscription. Here you will be able to update and extend your subscription when the time comes. If you have any questions, you can check the FAQ section for answers. There are comprehensive questions and answers for both the Engage mobile app and the Engage portal website. If you have any feedback or suggestions, you can submit them through the feedback page. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Engage portal. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one!